Good morning, it's Sunday, November 23rd. You're listening to member-supported KPVL 89.1 Postville. Postville, Iowa was just decorated with holiday cheer, but looks can be deceiving. In the last few weeks, it's just really gone downhill dramatically. With empty streets and shuttered shops, this small town is facing economic calamity. Mayor Bob Penrod is taking steps this weekend to declare a state of emergency here. But it's not a natural disaster, rather one that's man-made. If we don't get some assistance from the state and federal government, uh, we're going to be in deep trouble financially. That's how Jeff Bohr and his wife Holly feel. We were okay for a week or two weeks. Well, now we're going into the third week and we're just struggling to survive. Earlier this month, Jeff and Holly's employer, Agriprocessors, a kosher meat processing plant, suspended operations and filed for bankruptcy protection. Once the town's largest employer, this was just the latest in a string of setbacks for the company and for Postville. It all started May 12th, when hundreds of federal immigration authorities raided agriprocessors and arrested 389 workers. Many, like Irma Rukal, were undocumented immigrants. Six months later, she still wears a tracking anklet and waits for a court date. There are a lot of people in the U.S. who frankly wouldn't have a lot of sympathy for you. They don't understand the poverty that we know in Guatemala, she tells me. I've never hurt anyone. All I want to do is work. She says she paid $14,000 to smuggle her 14-year-old son and 15-year-old daughter to the U.S. They say even though they're minors, they worked at the plant along with their mother. Do you sometimes wish you had not come to the United States? Yeah, but it's the only place where you can make something for your life. With no income, they rely on the charity of local churches, also now feeling the pinch. Now we have the plant stopping production, possibly closing, in a horrible economic situation. Jeff, who's worked at the plant for 18 years, and Holly, there for 14, have not yet been laid off. So each night they return to see if the plant will reopen the following day. It's going to be a sick feeling every day coming up here. This night, there's more bad news. No work again. Even the security guard just comes out of habit. That's like us. People think we're getting paid because we're in security. We ain't getting paid either. They have no idea what they'll do with Christmas around the corner, never mind a mortgage payment due on the first. I'm actually afraid to turn the TV on and see what companies asking for a bailout or foreclosing or bankruptcy every day because it's going to eventually catch up to each and every one of us. It's caught up to you. Yeah, it's caught up to us just a little bit quicker. Because the story of Postville could be the story of many more parts of America in months to come. Seth Doan, CBS News, Postville, Iowa.